Hi, and welcome to another course on Calon Academy, fixing broken object locators with a self-healing mechanism in test automation. Multi-layered and more tricky web application development methodology like microservices come with a diverse range of technologies used on the front end for every feature or service. A few common names are React.js and AngularJS are using both CSS Flexbox and Grid for different pages in the same system. For this reason, more pressure is put onto the test automation team to be equipped with a test automation solution or framework flexible enough to uphold the whole system. Say the system you're using has background jobs to update new data in real time, like a web page for an actively trading stock floor. Then after a certain amount of time, say one minute, it will reload the whole page and potentially lead web elements to become stale. That's why when failing to find an object with a default locator, you will encounter the enable to find element error. When this happens, what self healing does is that it instantly searches for alternative locators of that object in the order of the list you've made. Or in other words, the healing mechanism here equates the action of replacing the broken locator with a new and working alternative. Afterwards, you can then update the new attributes suggested by self healing to the repository without having to update or change the relevant test cases so that your test won't fail in the future. In this course, you will get to learn about the mechanism and capabilities of self-healing, selecting and prioritizing different object locating methods, namely XPath, Attributes, CSS Selectors, and Image, replacing broken locators with new working alternatives automatically, and how self-healing works in detail for different scenarios, including complex end-to-end -end tests. Let's get started.